So it's important for contractors and operators to search for koalas in every private native forestry operation for a number of reasons. Koalas form an integral part of biodiversity within a lot of forests. So it's critical that, that operators and contractors are aware of their presence within the forest itself and they take into account the necessary prescriptions within the code to ensure their protection. Koalas occur in a wide range of forest types in New South Wales and use a number of tree species for food and shelter. It is important for landholders and contractors to understand koala habitat use and how to search for koalas before and during forestry operations so that they can be protected. The New South Wales Private Native Forestry Codes of Practice ensure that koalas and their habitat are protected during harvesting operations. To help private native forestry landholders and contractors in the field, we have developed a koala search guide. Koalas can be found in a wide range of tree species in New South Wales forests, so you should always assume there could be koalas present during your harvesting operation. There are four things to remember when searching for koalas. First, make sure you spend time conducting a thorough search, as koalas are very difficult to spot. You can make sure koalas are protected by checking each tree before felling, regardless of the species or type of operation. As you harvest trees and move through the forest, visibility will change. Constantly scan the canopy, forest floor and surrounds. Don't just concentrate on the immediate tree. The best approach to search for koalas in a forest is to check from a distance. Koalas are more challenging to spot when looking from directly below as they can be hidden by foliage. For this reason, it is often easier to spot koalas when you're looking at the canopy as you approach an area from a distance. You should also check for signs that a koala is present, including koala scats at the base of a tree or recent koala scratches. In my experience, it's very hard to spot koalas in their environment because of the camouflage of the animal in the actual trees. Black butt in one in particular, they're very hard to spot because of the grey coat on a koala. If a koala is spotted on the work site, the foreman is notified those machines are left there until we find out where the animal is and then we go to another area, create a buffer if an animal is found. If you see a koala at any time, stop any machinery operations near the koala. Establish an exclusion zone around the tree to protect the koala. Check your private native forestry code of practice for the exclusion zone relevant to your region. Search the exclusion zone and surrounds. For more information and assistance, contact your local private native forestry officer at local land services.